Welcome back to my series on having a narc-free new year. And this is a series where I read from my book, Healing from Narcissistic Abuse, Recover from Empathy Deficient Relationships and Emotionally Unavailable People. If you want the information about this book, links will be down below. And if you want to get more on this series, then watch to the very end and you can click on through to those videos. With that said, let's get on with it. Page 118, when you can't get them out of your mind. Now, if they're a narcissist and they're really thinking of you, unfortunately, this might be how they bait you. Ever heard of psychic vampires? People do this and sometimes they don't even realize that they're doing it. They're thinking of you, but they'll never call you because the narcissist has to remain in control, remember? And not be emotionally vulnerable, to not be emotionally available. So even if they're thinking of you, maybe it's a tactic to bait you or energetically pull you back in without actually changing or initiating anything. Or they can just outright deny that they were thinking of you at all. And they might have been, but again, for them to admit they were actually thinking of you would require them to position themselves vulnerably, which they're not going to do if they're unhealed. Obsessive thinking can be a protective defense that we create so that we don't have to feel. That's a quote from Bob Payne. You've got to put yourself first, and until you do, obsessive thinking is going to keep you emotionally unavailable. It's going to keep you emotionally unavailable for the next relationship. And it may be your way of having connection with this person without actually having a connection. Ask yourself this, am I trying to have a relationship with this person in my mind to replace the fact that I don't actually have a relationship with them in reality? Is this a coping strategy I'm using in a kind of unseen fantasy land way where we're working this out, we're talking this out as I keep going through all of this in my head. Is this my little fantasy land way of coping and conversing with them in a fake reality to replace the fact that I'm not able to do this in the real reality? Just pay attention to what you're doing and why. If you're interested in purchasing this book, Healing from Narcissistic Abuse, Recover from Empathy Deficient Relationships and Emotionally Unavailable People, remember it is on Kindle ebook version. You can get it on audiobook at Audible, and you can also get it in print at Amazon.com. And for those of you who like to sit back and watch and listen, well, I've got the video version over at my Etsy shop. Links for all of these are going to be found down below. And if you want to watch the next video available on narcissism, click here. Thank you all for your support.